Hi, this is Harvey from Zoonorama.com. Today we're looking at the ZN9 Zoon Stereo Clock from iHome. It's the world's first Zoon clock radio. It'll be released this July, and we got an advanced copy from iHome, which we're looking at today. The ZN9 has a sliding dock connector, so for your Zoon 80, which has a centered sync connector, or your flash Zoons, which have it to the side, your player can sit centered in the clock radio. Let's go to the back of the player now and look at the connectors on the rear of the cabinet. From left to right, we've got an FM antenna, an AC adapter jack, a line-out jack, clock adjust buttons, a time zone button that we'll look at in a minute, daylight savings time switch, the little antenna socket, and the line-in jack. Here I've pressed the time zone button and by spinning the settings wheel I'm going through Eastern, Central, Mountain, Pacific, Alaska, Hawaii, and um, Atlantic time. So I'll set this on Pacific time which is where I am. And now I'll toggle the daylight savings switch in the rear of the cabinet which bumps the hour up by one or down by one. Really convenient way of setting the time on the ZN9. And you can set the time manually as well. I just uh, pressed and held the clock adjust button on the rear of the player and by spinning the settings wheel I can you can see the time being adjusted here. Once I click that uh, clock adjust button again it'll take me through the date and the year. You can set those that way again using the the uh, settings wheel. The ZN9 is a dual alarm clock so let's go ahead and set one of those alarms right now. Uh, here I've pressed the uh, alarm number one and let's set this for 1146 which is just a couple minutes away. Another alarm setting that you'll see here is the 7, 5 or 2 function. You can set that alarm to turn on every day of the week or just weekdays or the two days of the weekend. And finally, the choice of sound source, which is Zoon, radio, or the built-in buzzer. So we'll leave it set at Zoon. And as you can see, I've sped the video up here to get us a little quicker to the time where this alarm will go off. Uh, when it does go off, and you'll see it here in a second, there we go, um, it starts playing the last song or the last podcast that you were playing on your Zoon. Similarly, if you set it to radio, it will play the uh, station that you most recently tuned to and the band, AM or FM, that you used with the radio. When the alarm does go off, it uh, comes on gradually, it starts at zero, it takes about 30 seconds to come up to the uh, volume center. The LCD display is nice and bright, and it has eight uh, different levels of dim settings that you can adjust with the snooze button. The ZN9 has a sleep feature which you can set from 120 down to 15 minutes for it to play and then gradually turn itself off automatically. The radio button toggles between AM radio, FM, and line input. Using the preset buttons at the top of the cabinet, you can save up to 12 stations, um, 6 AM and 6 FM stations. And the sound of the ZN9 is pretty good. Um, obviously, you're not going to fill a gymnasium with sound from a clock radio, but the 5 watts of power and the twin speaker system uh, seem to do a good job that's appropriate for this being in a bedroom or a dorm room or perhaps in somebody's office. And here you see me going through the equalizer settings. There's a treble and the bass adjustment, both of those have settings from minus five to plus five. And you say it isn't right. And I've got someone waiting to The equalizer also has a 3D setting that can be turned off and on, um, which might be helpful for certain playlists. My review unit did not come with adapter plates, but 
just to give you an idea of the 8 gig zoom and how that might look in here you can see that as well as the 30 gig zoom looks pretty sharp and that would even be a smoother look with the adapter plates that are included you can see more pictures in our full review of the ZN9 at zoonorama.com